Six weeks ago, we bought a 100-year-old ice cream company, the Rossi Ice Cream Company. Right now, I'm sitting inside the factory. We've already outgrown this factory and have plans for expansion. In this video, I'm going to have a little walk around the factory and tell you what we're up to. Do you like ice cream? If so, then you need to massage that like button. And the more you massage the like button, the more great videos I'm going to make to help grow your business. We're going to go into the R&D room because we've worked on this fantastic new flavor come with me so behind me is matt's office and matt is the person that comes up with all our new flavors and i've tasked him to massively improve how we put the best possible ingredients into our ice cream because some of you may have seen i've invested quite a bit of money into ice cream over the years and so i do know my snuff and i've been learning lots more and in here he's got a little fridge i see no one's here right it, the office is closed now the factory's closed but I'm here. If we just creep in here, this is how much people love Rossi. I don't know why I'm whispering, because there's no one here. This is all old Rossi packaging. These cups are what inspired me to bring our logo back, like the, the, that's on the back of me right here. This inspired me to bring it back to its traditions from these cups. These are from some of the original Rossi parlors. All the old lolly packs and everything like that. But inside this fridge, this is basically my favorite place to go. Now they're gonna have the oven. They are gonna see this video, but I wanted to show you. Down here is a little secret stash of brand new Rossi flavors. Pistachio, look, number two, that's the second run. I'll take this quite seriously here. 39th sample of a brand new chocolate ice cream, but my favorite. <laughs> white chocolate ice cream oh my days guys you have not lived this is actually made with real milky bar white chocolate thanks for watching this video <laughs> but inside here you'll see in this r d production room this is where we finish all of our ice cream and the problem that i have is this we have just invested a quarter of a million quid in a brand new pasteurizing plant to double our production. So we finish all of our ice cream in here. So, you know, it all gets pasteurized at the dairy. We're bringing that, we're bringing that all in house. And then our ice cream goes into that, where it's finished in there, goes into that room there. And then it goes out to Asda Morrison's co-op, etc., etc. Problem is, we've got no room. Like, if you see how much we crammed into here, I've got to get it sorted out on this. These are brand new vans that we've bought, still haven't been sign written. And this is like our cash and carry area. We've got freezer containers that we've bought outside now. Look, all of these freezers full up. We've got no room to move. If I show you in here, put the light on. Yeah, you know, look how much, there's hardly any room to move, so we need to, be able to buy freezers where you can drive pallets, drive forklifts in to move pallets around so that we can expand our capacity, expand our customer base. And that's just not happening at the moment. And then above us, we are buying in container loads of packaging. One of the big problems at the moment is it's really hard to source packaging. So you've got to source up, sorry, stock up so that you can be prepared to do it. Like cardboard shortage at the moment, container prices are going through the roof to bring stuff in from the Far East. So we're, we're, we're grappling with all of that. Plus the business is hugely expanding. I'll show you up here how much packaging that we've got. We haven't got enough. You know, we got like six weeks, seven weeks run of packaging. Now, if this all stuff is made abroad, you really have to plan in advance. It looks like a lot if you're panning from over here, Chad. So it's just, it's not enough. And I'm panicking about what we do about this. So I found this 11,000 square foot building, much bigger, a really good deal on the rent. We're gonna buy the factory as well that will allow us to do more R&D, make more ice cream, store more stuff and move stuff quickly because this building just isn't big enough. Now I know you love watching my videos to know the juicy numbers and we're going to go on the flip chart and I'll tell you all of that in a minute. There's also another thing here. I'm sitting on the original Rossi chairs. I mean look at this. This was from the original factory, uh, the original Rossi parlour. These are probably a hundred years old. Look at the signage as well. Look when you could buy ice cream for so flipping cheap. <laughs> look at this. Look at that handmade signs when you could buy a 99 45p most ice cream men sell that for £3.50 nowadays these are the original vats that used to make the ice cream and as the business developed um, they had to innovate and go into a modern factory rather than these things that are 80 90 years old but we're going through that process again at Rossi where you must always innovate or your business will evaporate and so that's why I want to bring back actually some traditional stuff to innovate the business into the new stuff and you've seen it's happening with companies all the time where companies 
companies that are experience led, that are doing experience based retail, like for example, Apple, brilliant customer service in retail, where loads of retail businesses have forgotten that stuff. And poor doing stuff that you would have got in the 1920s and 30s, brilliant human beings delivering great customer service. And that's what we want to do with Rossi, where we used to make all the ice cream from scratch rather than using technology and other outsourcing, which has been a, just what most businesses have tried to outsource everything. I'm bringing everything back in house to have full control, drive the experience, and crucially put that brand story that this brand so desperately deserves. This here, by the way, look, just so you know YouTube, that blue one is one of the original fruit feeders that puts raspberry ripple and stuff into ripple. Uh, we found this as well from the original factory. That's old vanilla flavoring um, from 1977, apparently. That's 40 years old, that. <laughs> That's how old this business is. But we're going to create a Rossi Museum so people can see all this stuff. And we're going to really grow the business. Right, let's get to the flip chart and let's do the numbers. Right, back in the studio. Problem is, we've run out of flip chart paper. So um, I'm going to have to try and think of a different way to do this. Oh. Oh, you knew it was coming, didn't you? What's this? It's a cheeky little plug for the James Sinclair Entrepreneurs University, which you can try for free at jamessinclair.net. I'll tell you what I've put in there. Brilliant stuff on how to do property deals and how to leverage your cash to make sure your business can survive. Now, because I haven't got any flip chart and because of my cheeky plug joke, which I'm very proud of, by the way, um, I've come up um, with a smaller flip chart. Charles, am I in the right place? Can people see this? I'm good, yeah. good, yeah. Okay, so here's what we're doing here. Warehouse one is where we're at right now this is the problem 44k a year rent and it's going to go up in four or five months time we've run out of space option to get the space behind but we don't know when that's going to happen and lastly we may be able to buy it in the future but it's not guaranteed now warehouse two which i done a little video about previously. We'll put some overlay shots of it. Can we do that, Judson? Yes, we can. Warehouse 2, 60K rent. So it's more than that, but I think the rent's going to go up by 10K. So just four or five K more. But here's the great news. I get six months rent free. So I'm going to have no rent, no cash going out for the next six months. And then I can expand my space in there. But the best one is I've got a lease option set price. So I've set a price of 1.2 million pounds to buy the property. I've got six months rent free. So I haven't got to find any cash at the moment because it's still in the pandemic. It's still lots millions of pounds worth of turnover. Things are still precarious. I've still got loads of bills to pay. Cash flow can be really tight. So I want to protect my cash as much as possible. But now I know that I can buy it in two years time. I mean, I will work on that as soon as I physically can. But it means now that the factory is bigger. So we've got more chances of expanding our ice cream, more stock. We can buy better. Crucially, I think it's going to save us a bit of money. And when we can own it and put our rent to a mortgage rather than to a landlord, I'm all for that. So that's everything I'm working on at the Rossi Ice Cream Factory. Thanks for watching.